Xmine 2020, this is the 2021 update. So I've covered Xmine 2020 in a previous video. However, this video is an update to that video because there has been a noteworthy change and a surprise. That's what I'm talking about in this video. I'll start by explaining what has changed in Xmine 2020. Then I'll take you through an overview of the software so you can see what it can do. And as a bonus, I'll answer a couple of questions that you may well have. The first one being, is Xmine 2020 the best mind mapping software Xmine has to offer? My answer may surprise you. And the second one being the age-old question, can you use Xmine for free? Hint, yes you can. You'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video in case you need a recap. Okay, let's do this. Now, up until recently, you may have noticed on the Xmind website that there were three main mind mapping tools, Xmind 8, Xmind 2020, and Xmind Zen. As of the end of 2020, however, Xmind Zen disappeared. I couldn't believe my eyes. Where has Xmind Zen gone? So I emailed Xmind yet again, and they were good enough to answer. They said Xmind Zen has been merged into Xmind 2020. So Xmind Zen is no more. Okay, so now let's take a look at the overview of Xmind 2020. The Xmind website says Xmind 2020 is a modern replacement for pencil and paper. Unless you're drawing, of course, or doodling. Anyway, according to Xmind's Wikipedia page, Xmind 2020 is the current latest release, although it's not even mentioned in the versions. Hmm, somebody somewhere needs to get this page updated. Anyway, you'll be glad to know that Xmind 2020 is cross-platform mind mapping software. It works on Windows, Mac and Linux, as well as on iOS and Android. Although, I'm not quite sure why this is on the pricing page, while there's no mention of it on the Xmind 2020 landing page. But let's push on, shall we? With Xmind 2020, there is non-stop from desktop to mobile. The mystery deepens with every sentence. I'm guessing this means you can continue working on your mind maps across devices. So let's look at what's new. Xmind 2020 has a brand new user interface called Cream. It sounds lovely. Xmind say, like the energy in the early morning, a sweet feeling to liberate exhausted, the power to move your thought forward. I think there's a reference to coffee in there, but I'm not sure. Thankfully, we have a graphic so we can see what all that's about. Note the very sleek looking elements and the various styles for each. Good work. Next is the Outliner. This is a great new feature that lets you switch between an outline of your information and the mind map representation. Here's what Xmind have to say about that. Freely switch between outlining and mind mapping. You are superior to your former self. In short, you can view your data in two modes and you're awesome. Next comes the Theme Editor. Here's where the eye candy kicks in. You can style theme elements such as lines and shapes to create very nice mind maps indeed. You'll see that there are new styles and structures which look nice and polished. Image exports have also gotten a makeover in Xmind 2020 with the ability to scale and export with transparent backgrounds that you can insert into your keynote or PowerPoint presentations and even exporting multiple sheets at once. Perhaps the feature that stands out the most in terms of the previous versions of Xmind is Zen Mode. As Xmind explain, it's not easy to focus for a long time. Zen mode helps you only concentrate on one mind map. Well, now you know the secret to being productive. There's a good dozen or so features that are worth mentioning, such as an updated template library, password protection for your mind maps, nice, a find replace feature, which is handy for large mind maps, a map overview feature, which helps you locate the topic in your mind map quickly, a topic count, in case you ever need one of those, multi-branch colors, and one feature that I'm particularly pleased with is topic-free positioning. This stops your floating topics or nodes from snapping to the grid, which can be very annoying. You're also able to create overlapping topics, handy if you're artistic, as well as the ability to use colors to help you set the priority of a topic, nice touch. The rest of the functionality is pretty much good old Xmind with a little polish. Things like relationships, boundaries, summary brackets, notes, labels, hyperlinks, attachments, markers or icons if you like, local images and a notable few new additions like callouts, audio notes and 89 built-in stickers to give your mind maps a more user-friendly feel. Pricing-wise, Xmind 2020 works out at $39.99 every 6 months or $59.99 per year. And there's a special offer for academia. If you're a student or a teacher, you can get Xmind 2020 for $34.99 a year or $22.49 every six months. 
Okay, now for the bonus, as promised. So you may be asking yourself, is Xmine 2020 the best mind mapping tool that Xmine have to offer? Well, the answer is yes and no. It really depends on what you want to use it for. I still use Xmind 8, that's my favorite, and I explain just why in this video. However, if you need the eye candy, the extra nice graphics, then Xmind 2020 is probably for you. And for the second question, can you use Xmind for free? Well, let's answer this once again, hopefully for the last time. When you visit the Xmind site, you can download Xmind 8 and Xmind 2020, and that download is an unlimited trial. Now, you can continue using that unlimited trial, forever if you want, as long as you don't upgrade to the paid license. This is explained on Xmind's website and I also have an email from them explaining exactly that. So as long as you don't update the software, you can use it for free. Let me know in the comments what you think of Xmind 2020 and whether you know a better mind mapping tool. And on that note, join me on my quest to find the ultimate mind mapping tool. Sub and I'll see you in the next video.